Hi there guys, in today's video with Flexi Starter, we're going to be looking at importing PNG files. But uh, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.ca.za. We have a variety of different softwares we do cover and also we upload videos daily. So you can just keep an eye there for any new content. Otherwise, we're back in the program here. Now, just a reminder, this is a mini series on importing. So um, we'll leave relevant links in the description so you guys can follow along. Otherwise, uh, when it comes to PNG file formats, um, it's also known as portable network graphics uh, format, or some people just call it portable graphics. Now, um, the beauty of this is that you can make it quite lightweight and it supports transparent backgrounds. So in other words, if you import something that has no background or export it, you'll, you can import it again with having a transparent background. It's quite nice for um, some applications. So now to use our importing tool, we want to navigate here to our top standard toolbar. It's the one way. And then next to the save, there's this little save icon with, that shows an arrow to a paper. If you hover your mouse, you'll see it says import. Now you can click that. Or we can go top to our main menu and go to file import once we've selected this we'll pop up our import options and then as you can see here we've got our png just make sure your files type is um set to png if you do not see it otherwise you can select your png then you're on the right if you do not have the thumbnails enabled like me you can always um, click preview then you can see a preview of the file you have selected when it comes to linking now if linking is off then what will happen is we'll take this file and embed it into your main project file. So if you save and you copy that file anywhere, that image will be going along with it. If you say link, then it will keep the file in its original place and only put a copy or a link rather to it. So if you copy your project file without the image, people won't be able to see that image. So like I normally say, this is great. You can use linking if you're using the image only as a reference and you don't want it in your file or project. Then you keep it on the link otherwise you can always go and um, keep it off and then it will embed it and otherwise we click import here it'll give us this blue box where we want to import it to or what we want to locate it then we can click there and like i mentioned the nice thing about png files as you can see if we move this over this graphics you can actually see right through the transparent areas which is a uh, um, like i said it's a very handy file format like that there's a few others that support it but png all around is just very well designed but otherwise yeah that is it on importing png files if we navigate here to softwaretraining.ca.za you guys will notice that um uh, this video more it is like this are available yeah and like i mentioned earlier we have a variety of different softwares we cover then also you, we have this nice search option. So if you're looking for anything specific, you can just type in here and isolate your search. But uh, after that, if you don't come up with any results still of what you're looking for, you can always go here, request a training video. Then we will make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.